So this video is going to run you through customization of the home screens, uh, making the phone your own basically on your Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, very similar for most Android devices, um, but I'll run you through this one. So unlock the home screen. Now when you first set the phone up, you'll notice that you've got seven different home pages. Some of them blank, some of them pre-installed widgets for you. And essentially the reason behind that is that's very much like your desktop on your PC. So if you think about it like that, that's all the apps that you want to get to really quickly. It's things that you use most often. So when it's first set up, it's set up quite generically. If there's anything on there that you don't need, so just use Video Hub as an example. We press and hold it and drag it up into the delete folder and it's gone. If you want to add something in its place, there's two ways to do it. One way is pressing the apps button and then clicking on widgets. And you just basically find the widget that you like, press and hold that and drop it where you want it. So if you change your mind on something, you press and hold it again and drag it up into remove. Now the home pages as I say it starts with seven. Some people don't need that many, so you can pull out like that, literally just pinch the screen, and you can press and hold a home page and actually drop that into delete. Or you can add a home page. I say anything up to seven that you can have, but you may only need two or three. And you can quite literally go around and customize anything that you want. What you will find is that some apps don't have a widget pre-installed on it. What you'll need to do with those, so we'll just use Samsung apps as an example and remove that off there. And if we click into the menu and under the actual apps section, so at the top, we find Samsung apps. And if you press and hold it from here, you can drag and drop it onto your homepage. And that is that. I hope that's some help. Thanks for watching.